there, ladies and gents. Just a little bit more content on the Sharon Davis thing that we did yesterday um, regarding uh, how she was cheated out of a gold medal at the Olympics oh, 40 odd years ago now. Um, I just read something more today in a secondary piece about it and just read a couple of the facts. It's absolutely shocking. And, and I mean, shocking. They were giving these kiddies drugs in, uh, is it GDR, the East Germany, from 10 or 11 years of age. 10 or 11 years of age. And what they were doing, they were ensuring as well none of the children got pregnant as they got older. If they got pregnant, they was making them have abortions because they were almost certain the drugs were that strong that the children had, become, had been born deformed or with massive problems. Just a couple of quick things I read here. Just the, It says they gave... Oh, what did it say? The girl that beat Sharon Davis, I mentioned to you that she set a world record in beating Sharon Davis and she beat her by 10 seconds, which is just a monstrous, monstrous amount. It was the girl's second world record. She broke the world record at 15 and then she broke it again when she beat Sharon Davis when the girl the girl was 17 at the time. Davis was 17 or 18 too. Um, the drugs, they gave the women a physical advantage similar to those young men gained du during puberty. No wonder Schneider, then 17, won the gold against Davis in Moscow by more than 10 seconds, lowering her own world record to 4 minutes 36.29. He says here that uh, there were 25 East German medalists in Mexico in 1968, 66 in Munich in 1972, 89 in Montreal in 1976, and 126 in Moscow in 1980, because it ran for nigh on 20 years, this. The doping was particularly effective for women. East Germany topped the swimming medal table in Moscow with 12 goals, 11 in women's events. Because obviously it was given, it was like, as I said yesterday, women racing against men. And in 11 of uh, the 12 gold medals, they were all by women. Frightening, really. Absolutely frightening. A couple more pieces here, it says. Um, many of them, uh, the, uh, the breast stopped developing. The menstrual cycle com became completely irregular. Other symptoms were horrendous acne and body hair. Um, they had massive liver complaints, heart complaints, um, just shocking. And they were given to 10,000 athletes. So 10,000 of these Germans were on these kind of drugs. And what had happened is they just put them on there. They had their own testing labs in Germany. And if before competition any of them tested positive, they wouldn't send them over. They sent another athlete over. So they'd make sure they were clear before competition started. Just horrendous. It was done on an absolutely industrial scale. And the sad thing is the authorities found all paperwork when the wall came down and, and Germany became one they found all paperwork saying that this had been done and how it had been done and which children had been on the drugs and which hadn't and still the Olympic Com Committee did nothing about it they had two of the medalists, two gold medalists these Germans went to see Samarak about 20 odd years ago who ran the Olympic Committee with the gold medals and said look give them back to the people that we beat, we cheated he said no no no, keep them, you won them it goes a lot deeper than you, don't do that and he just swept it under the table um, because he knows he's presided over something that's really, really bent. Anyway, that's the story. Dead sad, isn't it? Anyway, I think they're trying to get now uh, the, the records expunged and even trying to get Sharon Davis a gold medal, although it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? 40 years later. Anyway, that's the story. That's it all from me.